What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? What are you doing? 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 Those are drones. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Oh, that's close. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? If you haven't been here before, I'm Let's Fly RC, and I fly high-performance freestyle drones. I'm out here with my buddies at this really awesome spot flying drones, and we're going to get some footage for you guys. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about some of the products that I've been playing with lately and some of the things I've been designing. I got some really cool stuff that I've been playing with and I've been using on a daily basis and I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working with and maybe how it can help you in your daily flying needs. One of the things that's always been a problem with me, thank you for beeping. One of the things that's always been a problem for me with battery chargers is their power output when charging off of AC power or house power. When you're in, when you're in the hotel room of the trip you're taking, for example, trying to charge your batteries and get ready for the filming session for the next day. If you're charging off of an AC power source, you generally don't have a whole lot of power coming from your AC charger. A lot of these AC chargers that are out here don't have a whole lot of amperage output. Their wattage level is pretty low. I'll put the specs on screen right here because I usually don't do product reviews on my YouTube channel, uh, but Toolkit RC sent me this charger for free and it's such a great charger. I just wanted to show you guys the benefits of having a charger like this. It can put out a massive amount of amperage to your batteries while charging from an AC circuit, which is unusual for an AC charger. Generally, they put out a very low output power on AC power, and then they can really crank out the amps when you connect it to DC. Like, for example, plugging it into your car or hooking it up to your battery cables on your vehicle. Generally, when I travel, I carry a separate power supply to convert the voltage of the hotel power into 12 volt or 24 volt to go into the charger. And that will allow the battery charger to charge at a much higher amperage. But this battery charger is charging at four amps per battery on a 6S times four, and that is just unheard of. I've never seen a battery charger that can do that much so far, that I'm aware of at least, and I'm super excited about it because it's exactly what I've been looking for in a small package. I've got everything that I need to charge at super fast speeds. Which means that if I need to parallel charge and charge 12 batteries at once, I can do that. Or if I just want to never parallel charge again, this charger has four outputs on it. And that's pretty much what I've been doing for the last two or three years. I'm already a fan of Toolkit RC and I generally carry around two of these chargers in my car. And I'll plug it into my adapter that I have hooked to my battery, which gives me an XT60 out and it allows me to charge two batteries at a time off of the two ports. And since I have two of these Y splitted together, I could actually charge four batteries at a time without having to parallel charge. That means that my batteries are balancing better every single time more accurately. And at the same time, I don't have to worry about plugging in two batteries of different voltages into a parallel board. So that's just making battery charging even safer. And at the same time, with the amount of watts I can pull out of this charger, I am charging at a super fast rate. I'm usually in a hurry, so I'm generally charging my batteries at a higher C rating than they're recommended for. I usually charge at a three or a four C rate, which gets my batteries done in about 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, I can have four batteries charged with this charger. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this for everybody. I have been doing this for a long time, and I know how to monitor the batteries as I'm charging them incorrectly to make sure that they don't catch on fire and cause damage. So don't try this at home, but just to kind of give you an idea how I operate, that's how I'm charging my batteries. This battery charger actually has an XT30 port right underneath the XT60 port in case I forgot my XT30 adapter at home. And that is amazing because it's exactly what I needed. I'm always forgetting my XT30 adapter at home. And I do have some airplanes that use XT30 batteries and some smaller drones as well. So it's super amazing that they included this XT30 adapter right here, right under the XT60 adapter. It is so cool. I'm so psyched that they did that. It also has a power switch which is something that I don't generally see. Usually you just have to unplug the power cord whenever you want to unplug your charger. And on the other side of the battery charger, it has an XD90 input so that you can have some major amps coming in from your car battery. It has a USB-C port and a USB port in case you want to charge your phone or other devices externally. And while I'm sitting here charging my batteries, I can also charge my phone wirelessly just by placing it on top of the charger. So freaking cool. This battery charger really packs in the features. I think you guys are really gonna love it. Again, I don't usually do review videos or promote products on my channel, but I'm super psyched about this battery charger and I just wanted you guys to know about it. I'll provide some links in the description to where you can purchase this battery charger from Toolkit RC. And I'm loving it so far. I hope you guys do too. Let's do some flying. Let's go do some flying. Jeff, you wanna fly some drones? Fly some drones! Pendo killed the beat.
The other thing I want to show you guys is my new battery strap. Yes, I know, I made a battery strap, of all things, yeah. I put the same amount of attention to detail and engineering into the battery strap as I did into my tank drone frame and into the Rotor Riot FPV backpack. If you know me, you know that I crash a lot and I really want a drone that is extremely durable. And it's very important for me to come back home more than anything else. If I crash my drone, I want to make sure that it comes home to me. And it's always been big to me to fly more and repair less. And I want to make it easier for other people to have the same experience. My new battery strap helps with that in the fact that it's extremely durable. It also has rubber gription so that it can grab onto the battery and keep your battery from ejecting from your drone. If your battery is over there and your drone is over here, it's not going to do you any good and you're not going to be able to fly back home. So especially when you're flying a toilet tank style drone and you only have one battery strap attached to your drone, it's very important that that battery strap be extremely durable and do a good job of grabbing onto the battery and keeping that grip to keep it from ejecting and disappearing. One of the things I noticed with the tank, once I started flying the toilet tank style battery, I ended up ejecting more batteries because the battery straps weren't holding on. Also because I was only using one battery strap versus two, I noticed that I was breaking the battery straps a lot more often. These battery straps are not gonna break on you. And finally, the most important thing for me on this battery strap design that I really, really wanted to make was to make sure that this buckle was extremely strong. This is a very, very strong metal buckle, and the metal buckle, on top of being very strong, does not rotate. One of the other major problems with some of the other battery straps of this type is the fact that the buckle would actually rotate. Let's see if I can do this on camera. It was that the buckle would actually rotate inside of the strap. And what you'll notice with this battery strap is it will not rotate. Me and the other engineers spent a lot of time engineering this battery strap so that this metal buckle had pointy square ends. And there's a very tight tolerance on the stitching of this battery strap to make sure that it does not rotate on you in flight. If this battery strap buckle rotates in flight, it's going to loosen the strap and then your battery's gonna go flying and the whole concept of keeping the battery strap attached to the drone goes away. So it's gotta not rotate, and that's the most important thing for me. If you'd like to get one of these battery straps for yourself, you can pick it up at rotorite.com. I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, that's my battery strap. Let's get back up in the air and do some more flying.